To many, the reform journey has been long and with pain but never ending. Going back almost a decade ago, lives were cut short in the quest for these reforms. Despite this, there are people whose entire lives have been dedicated to fighting bad laws and bad governance and have never given up, even in the twilight of their days. That's all we Jem Kariuki assassinated. We are here in this Hilton Hotel. This is the last place where Jem Kariuki was seen alive. Pio Gama Pinto, in the morning taking his child to school, at the entrance, uh, at the, 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 the gate, is shot and assassinated. Uh, Sheikh Khalid Balala there. Uh, he was born in Mombasa, but I'm standing here, I'm wearing uh, a scar, and I was trying to get him out of an aircraft, which had brought him from Frankfurt to Mombasa, but they wouldn't allow him to set, his, to set foot on Kenyan soil, because he had been deprived of his Kenyan citizenship. Prime Minister Raila Odinga, while addressing human rights activists, said that Kenyans should make use of the forthcoming elections to transform our country so as to achieve the Kenyan dream. According to rights activist Hassan Omar, reformist opportunity is there as experience in the judiciary. The Premier was put to task by the activists who cautioned him on persons whom even after acting against the constitution and whose characters are questionable are still holding on to power. People who kill with impunity, steal with impunity, maim with impunity, and have nothing, no recourse for the Kenyan people. It's a double tragedy in this country to be poor and weak. We need a government that shall have compassion to the poor and shall protect the weak. And that's the government that we need. But this is a government that only talks about the mighty, protects the rights of the mighty. When you kill a poor Kikuyu, he is Mungiki. When you kill another person, you profile them even at death. But when you kill rich people, you jail the killer. As they commemorated Saba Saba, Odinga called for courage and patriotism that inspired the freedom fighters to wage battle against the colonial powers and win. It is the same patriotism that made us overcome tribal divisions and stand up for and with one another, regardless of tribe, race or faith, in the struggle for the second liberation. Violet Makendo, GBS News.